Hi everyone, my name is Jason and I want to show you how to download and get your Zend framework up and running. So first step, go ahead and download the Zend framework. Uh, just uh, forewarning, I am doing this on a Macintosh and I'm going to be using Map. I'm going to go pretty fast over some parts. This video is meant to be stopped if you need to copy something. So we have our downloads folder here. We have our Zend framework. Now when you unzip this, you're going to get a folder. I went ahead and renamed my folder ZF107. The folder name doesn't matter. It's not going to uh, affect anything. So what we want to do is we want to put the folder into our htdocs on map. So I'm in my map folder, htdocs, right there. So if I go to my web server, the local host for map, I have my ZF107 right here. Now if I click it, I have a demo folder. So if I go to demos, Zend, wildfire, let's say. There's a bunch of different ones you can do here. Let's do wildfire, click the public folder, we get an error, it doesn't work. So why doesn't it work? Let's go back to our Zend folder. We have our install.txt here. So what, did we, what do we need to do here? No special installation steps, download the framework and extract it to the folder you like to keep it in. We did that, we downloaded it, installed it into our map htdocs folder. Now here's a little, a little bit of a different part here. To add the library directory to your PHP include path, that's what we need to do. How do we do that? We need to find our php.ini file. So I have it right here, php.ini. There are two versions of PHP that MAP usually installs. Whatever one you're using is the file you want to change. So PHP 5.3, this is going to be your ini file. If you're new to PHP, this basically sets the ground rules for what's going to be happening when you start up the servers. So let's go down to, in my case, line 406, I believe. Oops, there it is. Path and directories are right here. So 406, here's my include path, the one that comes installed already. And here's the one under it, the include path for the Zend library. So I'm going to go ahead and file, save this, close it, stop my servers, because we need to restart our servers so it will pick up what we just changed. Start servers right there. And let's go ahead and go over to our local host again. There's our ZF folder, our demos, Zend, Wildfire, and public, and now it works. Fantastic. Now, one quick thing I'll show is how to use the Zend tool. If you look in the install text, it will say right below all the installation instructions. If you like to use Zend tool, simply add ZF bat, ZF SH to your executable path. How do you do that? Well, you do that in terminal. So what we're going to go ahead and do, if we look at, this is our ZF folder again, where our install text is. If we go to our bin right here, we're going to see zf.sh bat. So what we want to do is get the info on this guy. We only are interested in the path right here. So go ahead and copy and paste that. We're going to open up terminal. Let me clear out this a little bit. Now we're going to create an alias. So alias ZF. You can call it whatever you want anything you want. Um, you're going to have it equal the path. Now that's the path plus you also need to add the sh or if you're on a Windows the bat. Click enter. Now if you want to use it, it's saved in our memory. Show version. Let's show the version here. Press ZF, show version, click enter. Zen framework version 1.10.7. It works. Now if you want to create a project using the Zen tool, you can do ZF create, I'm sorry, project, whatever, and it'll create a project. Now it's going to create a project in the directory you're in, so I would have to change directories. If you're unfamiliar how to do that, you just do change directory, whatever, slash, whatever, and then it will go ahead and put it in there. And if you're unfamiliar what to do, you can just type in ZF by itself, and it'll show you everything you can do here. Projects, profiles, actions, forms, layout, whatever. And a good place to get started, now that you know how to do this stuff, is to go to the ZF, I'm sorry, Zend Quick Start. First listing on top, and it takes you to the first page. It shows you basically the idea of the MVC, and as you keep going through the pages, you will create your own project using a database, forms, all this kind of stuff. And uh, it is a little difficult at times to follow. There is some ambiguity to it, but read the comments and you should be fine. 
And that's it. Uh, good luck using Zen Framework. Obviously, if you needed to freeze this video, uh, that's what I made it for. Hopefully, I didn't go too fast. If you have any questions, go ahead and give me some comments, and I'd be happy to explain anything you need. Thank you very much.